The weather's been so nice lately, I decided to take the doors off the Jeep and drop the top. But this leaves our garage door opener available to dishonest fingers. Yeah, I could put it in the glove box and lock it up, but that's not convenient. I could even put it in the center console. Still not convenient. So, it's time to hack it. For this easy and practical project, you're going to need your garage door opener, a small momentary switch, a double strand of wire, and a small box to put everything in. The first step is to crack open your opener. I used a small screwdriver to gently pry it apart. Once inside, you'll find the small circuit board, the button cell battery, and our target, the little switch that activates the garage door opener. I popped the button cell battery out so I wasn't opening and closing the garage door the whole time, and then I removed the circuit board from the housing, just a couple of clips held it in place. Now since we're going to be wiring into the small switch, I used my multimeter and put it in continuity mode to find the proper contacts. Putting them on each end and pressing the button indicated which two contacts I needed to solder to. The little box I'm going to use is actually a candy mint holder, which is perfect. There's plenty of room inside, and I'll show you a special feature in just a second. So using a drill and a small bit, I drilled a hole in the end of the box. Then I fed one end of our double-stranded wire through the hole. I split the ends of that wire and then stripped the leads. Now it's time to solder those two wires to the switch on our garage door opener. I'm using a basic momentary switch that you can find online for cheap or at your local electronics retailer. I've soldered the other end of our double-stranded wire to the switch. Alright, now it's time to put it all back together, so I'll clip in the button cell battery, add some Velcro to the bottom of the board, and secure it into our little housing. Then I snap the top back in place. Now check this out, the little door allows me access to change the battery. Pretty handy. Now it's time to find somewhere to secure it. So right under my steering column, there's a small panel that pops out. This will be a great spot. I brought it back inside, and then I drilled a small hole in the area where I want the switch. I inserted the switch from the back and then secured it tightly with the little nut. Oh, and after I determined where I wanted to put this, I trimmed the wire down and re-soldered it to the switch. Now it's time to add some heavy-duty Velcro to the bottom of our little housing and the inside of our panel. Our newly relocated garage door opener is ready to go. The last step was just to pop the panel back in place. And now I have no worries about leaving our Jeep topless. And my secret switch will get me inside. That's how to hack your garage door opener and make it safe and secure. To check out the other videos on my channel, click the box on the left. Or for more home security gadgets, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.